The Russian Aerospace Forces carried out airstrikes on positions of Herat Tahrir Asham near the town of Basila and Agir Hilltop in southern Idlib. The strikes eliminated at least nine militants and became a logical continuation of the recent increase of intensity of strikes by the Syrian Air Force in northwestern Hama and southern Latakia. In the period from October 3rd to October 6th, Syrian helicopters delivered over 30 strikes on positions of Herat Tahrir Asham, the Turkestan Islamic Party, Anajad al Khawaz, Faraz al Din, and other Al Qaeda linked groups. Additionally, on October 6th, rocket and artillery systems of the Syrian army shelled militants near al zana located west of the militant stronghold of Jazir al shugur The Syrian-Russian strikes in the southern part of the Idlib zone and the loss of underground infrastructure in the towns of Khan Shakun and al Atemiya, liberated by the Syrian army in August, forced Idlib militants to adopt their new approach. According to videos appearing online, Hayat Tahrir al-Sham is transferring its weapons depots, including those containing grad rockets and mortar shells, to the border with Turkey. One of the locations of militants' weapon depots is the Bab al-Hawa border crossing. Radicals hope that their weapons and ammunition depots will be safer closer to positions of the Turkish military. Syria and Russia are constructing a permanent bridge between the eastern and western banks of the Euphrates and western Derizor. Syrian personnel are working under the supervision of Russian engineers. Russian Special Forces troops are deployed to secure construction works. The bridge is set to be completed by the end of October. Russia's NTV TV channel reported that the bridge will be used to improve the humanitarian situation in the area and to provide aid to people remaining in the eastern bank of the Euphrates, most of which is controlled by the U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces. Tensions between the U.S. and Turkey are once again growing over the situation in northeastern Syria. On October 5th, Turkish President Erdogan announced that his country is not satisfied by the implementation progress or the safe zone agreement with the U.S. and Ankara, and is ready to launch a military operation to fight terrorists in northeastern Syria. Turkey sees Kurdish militias, which are the core of the U.S.-backed Syrian Democratic Forces, as terrorist groups. The Turkish-U.S. safe zone agreement was intended to address Turkish security concerns, removing the U.S.-backed Kurdish militias from the border with Turkey. However, it seems that Washington is not hurrying up to do so. This behavior is setting the ground for further tensions in the region.